water, our most important resource. Why should we worry about water? Lima, our city, has a desert climate. 10 million people live in it, and its population is growing every day. It may go unnoticed, but we are already facing a chronic water shortage. While Peru has abundant water resources, Lima only has available 125 cubic meters of water per person per year. The rivers Chillon, Rimac, and Lurin are our main water sources, but they are not enough. This is the reason why we use water from the Mantaro River Basin as well as groundwater. In spite of having access to all these water sources, a million people living in Lima have difficulties accessing drinking water. This is but the tip of the iceberg. If we keep wasting water like we have until now, soon we won't have access to water for the production processes in a variety of industries or even for our own domestic use. This is why we have calculated the water footprint. It allows us to measure our impact, quantifying and comparing the amount of water that we use and contaminate. Many people are not aware of the critical situation, but now, with a deeper look into Lima's water footprint, we will be able to understand why the water consumption in Lima is unsustainable. These indicators help us calculate and compare our use of water in each sector and district. For instance, how much water is consumed in your municipality for the irrigation of green areas? How much water do companies use for producing goods and services? Which are the municipalities with the highest water consumption and which ones are better at managing water resources? In order to measure our consumption and our use of water, we quantify the water footprint and divide it in three components. The green water footprint. It is the amount of rainwater used by plants that doesn't return to river basins. It doesn't rain in Lima, so the green trace is not taken into account. The blue water footprint is the amount of surface water, rivers, lakes, and lagoons, and underground water consumed in the daily activities of people or in the production of goods and services. The gray water footprint is the amount of fresh water needed to reduce the concentration of pollutants so that they meet acceptable water quality levels. For instance, to reduce the concentration of one liter of petroleum to environmentally acceptable levels in water bodies, 1,000 cubic meters of water are needed. The total blue water footprint in Lima, that is, the amount of water consumed which is no longer fit for any other purposes, is approximately 638 million cubic meters per year. This is the equivalent of 255,000 Olympic swimming pools. All of us are part of the problem, and we share responsibilities. 54% of the water footprint comes from domestic uses. 15% comes from the commercial sector. 15% belongs to industries. 9% comes from agriculture. And 7% belongs to the public sector. If we measure the consumption in each district, the water footprint varies. The districts with more access to water sources consume more, while those that have less access don't even have a chance to use the minimum water amounts necessary for humans. This means that Lima's water footprint is socially unsustainable. With only 7%, the public sector has the smallest blue water footprint in Lima. And it could decrease if we consider the great amount of drinking water consumed by many municipalities for the irrigation of green areas. Let's take a look at Lima's gray water footprint. Polluted water would need 1,768 million cubic meters of drinking water to assimilate the polluting load, which would be the equivalent of three times the Rimac River. While we decide to take action, we continue to suffer from water stress. Because a great deal of the blue water available in our city is consumed with no possibilities of recovering it, our severe water stress goes on throughout the year. Understanding that we are facing these problems is the first step. Working together in order to reduce our water footprint can make a change. Domestic users on their end can evaluate the water consumption and try to reduce it. The 
municipalities can replace drinking water with treated wastewater for the irrigation of green areas. The commercial and industrial sectors can implement technologies that allow them to use water more efficiently and improve the quality of their wastewater. The Blue Certificate promotes the responsible use of water. It is the award given by the National Water Authority to the companies that participate in the Water Footprint Program. Helping to reduce the water footprint is our shared responsibility. Join the initiative to help Lima become a water sustainable and responsible city. Get informed and lead the change. Find out how to obtain the blue certificate at certificadoazul.ana.gov.pe. If you want to know more about the management of water resources in Lima, visit observatoriochirilu.ana.gov.pe. Find out more about Lima's water footprint aquafondo.org.pp Find out recommendations on the proper use of water here. setapal.com.pp